Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple animation smear inside of After Effects. Without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so I would like to show you how I created this smear effect on the sword when it came shooting down like that. Uh, right there, there's just one frame of smear over there. Now there are multiple ways to do this and to be honest, those ways can sometimes be quite tedious and long. So I came up with a method that was just a little bit quick and faster and you really need to just draw it out. Uh, so I'd say, um, I'd say new um, adjustment layer. I'm gonna look up echo. I'm gonna drop echo onto the adjustment layer. Okay, let's just call that echo and I'm going to set that adjustment layer to maximum and I really only want one echo so to be honest that is perfectly fine so I'm just going to use this for tracing purposes um, I'm going to create a new solid and that and I'm going to give this solid a fill Okay, and I'm going to turn that solid off, but keep it selected. Now, what I want to do is uh, just create a mask around um, the solid and and then basically change its full color. Now, if you look at the sword, when it comes down, um, I don't know if you've ever blurred something in Photoshop, but usually it, it becomes more of a kind of a, a one uh, or two or three tone uh, solid fill. And it tends to blur from from the back so that's essentially what i'm going to try and recreate so for example uh if we want to recreate that back bit over here i'll start to trace it and we're going to trace the sword let's say going up to about yeah 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 because this is going to be an addition to this frame here and we'll trace it across there I'm just gonna really do it fast and dirty but if I turn that on now and uh, let's just turn this echo off I can go to the solid layer and I just go color fill and we're gonna fill it up with that back color and then we've got our first a smear and then all we need to do is Apple C Apple V duplicate that smear again press here on the keyboard and delete that mask turn the eye off and let's turn that echo back on again and we're going to start to draw the next part of the smear so let's see what would work best for the next one next one we can do this white bit of the sword i noticed that white is uh, i think it would work nicely about from year to year so let's do that got a bezier tool on and we're gonna draw in that white part turn the eye back on again let's just color drop that color there we go that looks about right and then we could duplicate that again um, and we can Let's color drop that next color. Now let's get rid of that mask. Turn the eye off. And let's draw in that next shape. And turn the eye back on again. Right, so I think that's enough just to show you how the process is done. What I'll do next is I'm just going to control shift D and delete the front bit and move one frame ahead, control shift D and let's just delete um, the parts that I've trimmed off because really the smear is only going to be over one frame. So now I can turn my echo off. I'm going to move it a frame forward. So essentially what you're seeing is uh, the sword there then the sword lands and then that smear disappears. Now you can layer this up so you know you can draw 
um, the little stretchy bit of the uh, the red of the, the badge over there and maybe a couple of extra lines across here. So what you're gonna see is this, boom. And it really just adds so much more panache to your animation. I'll show an example of when it's done. Well, I've drawn a couple of extra lines. It really doesn't have to be that neat, to be honest. I, I would encourage you just to use as less points in a path um, in the style. And yeah, that's pretty much how I would have drawn smears for this animation. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.